You know, I've been looking for a project for uh, a really long time where I could have sex with a fruit. Mm -hmm. And, uh... And, uh... I'm gonna talk about the peach in this film. Yes, absolutely. Well... What can you do? I mean, that was the prescription of the story. That was what was in the book. So it felt like it had to be done. Peach did a starring turn. Were you proud of the Peach? Uh, absolutely. And uh, he should have been credited. Or she. <laughs> I mean, we're allowed to talk about it. Yeah, I but... mean, there's a scene where, um, I don't know how to describe this. Uh, there's a Peach. And a... in life, one has to explore sometimes. Right. And the exploration commences. Right, exactly. And so people have been mentioning this to you yeah, a lot? Yeah, you, you say, like, are you worried? I'm worried, like, 50 years from now, I'll be, like, signing pe peaches behind a desk. <laughs> <laughs> That's I love making scene with a peach. And, and although funny in context, it really serves as, like, a metamorphosis of some of the strongest ideas in the movies. What was your reaction when you read the script and saw the peach scene? Well... Yeah, I was like, this is what I've been waiting for, you know? Uh, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> were you like, how am I going to do this? Or were you thinking, I got it? Yeah, I, I've, I've been waiting for, waiting for this moment my whole life. Uh, no, I mean, again... Like it's it's in the book, so it just felt like it it had to be done, and um... every time I like come close to a peach, I get f I like whoa, 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 and I get flashed back to this moment in Italy, when in a room. Of be honest, you're very people. excited every time you see a peach. <laughs> right, when I see a peach, that's, hey, so, hey, I'll tell I'll tell you something. Somebody said something like that. Like, every time I eat a peach, now I kind of get flashed. <laughs> There's a great, uh, there's a great uh, fruit, fruit, fruit love scene. There's the, there's a, there's the peach scene. So that just, like, circumstantially, from what's required from that scene, I just had a doubt whether anybody could do that believably, uh, and if it worked better as a literary metaphor than it ever could visually. And then I was, I think both Luca and I were surprised on the day that oh, okay, maybe this can play out believably. And final question, don't freak, but sure. did you have sex with a peach off camera to practice? It seems I like don't know. that's I'm a blanking, yes. I'm blanking, I'm blanking. That feels like a yes, just from the temperature of the room. Yeah, you know, wow, I, I just couldn't tell you no, right now. It's fine. Look, you know, there's a certain discipline you want to follow as an actor as it relates no, to what I happens in the scene. No, I want you to have a great career, and so that's why you don't have to answer this. Oh, no, question. but I've answered it. No, no, no. So yeah, you did. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. And on well, that note, no, okay, that okay. <laughs> there, There's fruits that even get loved. There's a peach that gets loved, so I, I... And myself having sex with a peach. Thank you. Which I think is very layered. What does the peach scene mean to you, and why is it so important to the story? There's like the, the there's the surface appeal of it, which is that it's on paper as a description, just uh, a more out there scene, something you don't see quite a lot visually, and even as a literary metaphor, you don't really see it in, in the book. That it's really a metaphor, metamorphosis of this idea that you know love is boundaryless; it takes all shapes and forms. The arc of the character in that scene is it starts in an excited, you know, erotic place, and then it goes into a place of of laughter, but then a place of shame. So, weirdly, the scene that can be treated kind of comedically, or at least with laughter, actually almost holds the the idea of the film and, and the book within it. I see. My mom seen it. She thought it was great. I'm sure my dad and my sister are gonna love it. My grandma might take issue with a certain fruit scene, but you, know, you can't have everything. You nervous, apprehensive about shooting such a such an intimate solo sequence. Um, as that one. Yeah, I think there's a certain anxiety as a young actor. You don't want to find yourself in projects that deal with sexual material salaciously or exploitatively. But if you watch I Am Love and you watch Bigger Splash, uh, the sexual aspects of those stories, they're in service to the story. They're not the star of the movie. And certainly, as you put it, for me as well, I think it's a metamorphosis of a lot of ideas in the film that love is boundless and you can't really define it. And and the scene itself carries the the joy and the naivete and the instinctual sense of desire that uh, uh, these two guys have, and then also the tragedy in, in, in the second half of it when it when it uh, takes a turn south. 
Just to cap this off with something sentimental, I want to know from each of you what the experience has been like of sharing. The when was that in the shoot? When was that in the schedule? That's a good like, so when was that in the schedule? Were you dreading it? Yes. Or was it, was it like kind of like on set? You know, you know like the grips and that. And no, like, it's oh, true. it's coming. No, it's, it's true. So I have sex with a peach in this film. But it's a great film. Not that it wouldn't be a great film without a sex. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Peach? Yeah. Yeah, peach I try to have great. sex with fruit in every movie that yeah. I do now. Peach uh, high-end cinema. That's a, that's, hey, that's the, yeah. That's in fact, I saw a very, like, I, I saw a fan-made poster online the other day with a big peach on it that was, like, super well done. Uh, so that was maybe three, four weeks into the, the shoot. And, and obviously you're aware of why that would help because first day jitters are all, yeah. you're all over the place. And it just, there was the, the, there was an anxiety that was taken away in that Luca, our director, Luca Guadagnino, our director, said he thought maybe it worked better as a literary metaphor in the book and that it could never really work well as a visual metaphor. And he came up to me, you know, maybe a week or two weeks before shooting. He goes, Timmy, you know, I tried it and, and it works. And I was like, of course it works, Luca. Like, were you never a teenager? You never, anyway, so, uh, and uh, we won't get into that now. And, uh, and, uh, and, and, did you try it before? And, uh, next question. And, uh, and, you did it. And, uh, <laughs> So, and it just felt like if it never, as I progress and keep moving the, the conversation along now, it just felt like if it wasn't going to be any good that it wouldn't be in the movie, so. Anything else, Luca had practiced, made sure it was something that was possible, and, uh, and uh, hey, you've said that in other interviews, it's, it's true, fine. It's true. And, um, and, uh, Not till the end. And I just couldn't, I, I, I love the book, it's fantastic, but that scene was really a contrivance for me because I couldn't believe, I could believe his like, Elio need to explore, but I technically didn't thought it was really working. But until it was until I we came back to set work. and said, okay. And I went back to him and said, I tried, it works. <laughs> and he said, yeah, I tried too. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then on the day, like, I, it was just treated like everything else. I didn't feel like there was any uh, ceremony around it, so it just kind of came and went. And Luca said he he's not shy. He doesn't. He he likes a good challenge. What he just told me, in fact, was that um, he he didn't believe that it could be done till he tried it himself. Uh, figured it could be done, and then spoke to you about it and said, "Go for it." Because yes, I mean that is an actual conversation we had, which was uh, maybe like the first weekend of filming. He was like, "Oh, that scene that we were maybe not going to do because it's not possible." That's something that people can do in real life. Turns out it's possible, it hey, it's possible. and it's great. <laughs> And I was like, hey, how did you feel? Uh, oh, oh, oh. 